Hi everyone, my name is Marcy. Welcome to my channel. I'm super excited for you to be here. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the sources that I use to study for step one. There are a lot that I'm gonna list. Now, some of the sources did not help others helped a lot but that's because i had a lot of trial and errors and i'm gonna tell you about it this is a complete like on my other videos um, i'm completely honest with the things that i say so keep on watching we can do it all night we can do this all the time but no i love you Okay, so here are the sources that I'm going to list. So there was Kaplan, Kaplan Cubank, DIT Video, New World, uh, Firecracker, Osmosis, Pathelma, Dr. Najib, Goyon's Rap Review, Goyon's Audio, of course, First Aid. So those are the resources that I mainly use. I can't think of anything else that I may have used. I think the best sources would be Firecracker, First Aid, and U World. If you do want someone to kind of explain things to you, go ahead and watch my U World concept series. But then that's obviously just like some subjects. <laughs> advertising but you can definitely watch uh pathoma's videos that's really good i used pathoma while i was going through my first two years or second year really because that's when we had pathology so so this is step one studying so you probably should have already done pathoma and now you can just review your notes on it so that would work if you haven't i think he is pretty valuable if you're really struggling with a material dr najib is like the man because he really breaks it down really really well and you are able to understand the subject i think that's where i got my repetitiveness from because i tend to repeat a concept over and over it's because when you say it once it does it kind of gives you a baseline and when you say it again it sticks better when you say it again it really solidly sticks so that's why um I think that's why I do it now because Dr. Najib did it all the time and it was really helpful. A subject that you're really, really struggling with, go see if he has a video on it because he's so helpful. That concept will never leave you. So which one are my least favorite out of the, uh, the ones that I listed? DIT, basically they're reading first aid to you. If that's what you want, go ahead. DIT is for you, but um, I did it and I didn't finish all of it. Here's another thing. While I was studying for step one, I did a lot of trial and error. Like there was a lot that was just not working out for me. Um, and then I would like stop and I would uh, switch over because my scores weren't uh, increasing. So whenever I would do an NBME, it was like still horrible. So what I would end up doing was changing my plan. And ultimately, ultimately the best plan in my in my opinion the best plan is to add first aid with firecracker with you world go through the firecracker um because they organize it so well so you can just pick out all the subjects that you want to study within the week and how many tabs you want to study and then they give you flashcards so whenever you read through did you actually retain it and the flashcards are going to tell you whether you actually retained it and then you're going to do um add like later on during the day you're going to do um, some questions, a set of questions, and then whatever you get wrong, you're going to make sure that you write down and then in Firecracker that topic, you're going to search it up and you're going to read up on it again and then do uh, cards again. I think that's an amazing plan for step one to just add those three your world first aid and firecracker and because the firecracker is your ultimate source i feel like i'm all over the place right now so what are the sources so those are the sources that i used which are the sources that i really believe in which are the sources that i really think is a great combination and which are the sources that i wouldn't really use if i were to go back in time and not waste my time but if those sources that I said I wouldn't really use, they can help, mind you. Like, I, I don't think they're bad. I don't think they're horrible. But for me, in my mindset, the way to study at, at a point where you're like, pushing in a lot of uh, information is to get a couple sources and stick to that and follow through. But then you can use these other things just to kind of help with um, 
with certain topics that you, you really didn't get from first aid and uh, firecracker like you need someone to explain it to you so then you'd go to osmosis or you'd go to pathoma or you'd go to another like a kaplan video or dr najib even for that particular topic for example with a neurology that i didn't understand then i would pick out my review uh, rapid review pathology um goyans rapid review pathology so like this one i'd pull it out and then i'll read through it's like bulleted so because it's a it is a rapid review Review, but it's still um, a lot of information that you can use so that was something that I'd pull out so there are resources that I would pull out sometimes whenever like first aid or firecracker or other sources weren't cutting it for me now with firecracker I really mainly focused on that for like a month I really wish I had done it more but I had so much anxiety to get quantity that's another thing I want to talk about quantity was huge for me and that's not something you should look for and actually that was when that was the reason why I had a lot of trial and errors because I constantly focused on the quantity getting so many things done within the day and so many things done within the, that time period but then it was not a good idea because the quality was missing once I realized that I was really struggling I then went for quality and that's when I actually combined the first aid the firecracker and U world actually U world I was so scared of it because I kept on like in the beginning I was doing really bad with U world it would just be completely discouraging so then I just like would avoid questions at all costs but that was another struggle that and that was another bad studying method and it wasn't efficient at all because i wasn't doing a lot of questions i was scared of it but that was another thing that i added whenever i wanted to efficiently study do more questions even if i was getting it wrong i just sucked it up and i kept going kaplan question bank i did like it was really specific um but it helped me get the details of things and then i loved reading the explanation i actually loved the uh, Kaplan explanations a lot more than U World explanation, but then over time I began to like U World explanations as well. Like I said, with me, like I wanted to get every single thing done. So if I was just sitting there and not half listening, half not listening, but then I knew like I was like finishing up that video, so then it added to my checklist and therefore like I had more done. But that wasn't it because I was just like sitting. So that wasn't efficient because I was just like sitting around like not really fully uh, studying. Um, and I was just listening. It wasn't as active. Sometimes the videos I did get active and those were, were the ones that I retained. And then other times I wasn't active with it. I wasn't making notes or I wasn't fully paying attention. My phone was on my hand. So there's a lot of things that you have to consider with sources. So that's why I really think you should just use a few. Just start with the first aid and U World and Firecracker. See if that really helps because I think that is a great way. And as you're studying through this, these resources, whatever resources you end up using, you have to make sure you're doing questions. So questions is key. And if you ask any medical student, they'll always, always advise you to do more questions. So this video was mainly about just like the sources that I used and what combination really I believe will really help. If you try it out, let me know. Uh, please definitely leave a comment down below to say whether it worked for you or what you think of it or, or if you'd like to add anything else. I don't think I talked about it, but Osmosis is actually a really good resource as well. So they have, I don't know about their website. I don't really look into their website too much. I know they can formulate a study plan for you on there as well, but their YouTube channel is amazing. Um, I will do a review on them actually because they did request uh, for a review. Um, their videos are amazing. So hopefully that helps. I really, really hope I didn't uh, confuse you guys and I hope that those that requested this video, this was helpful. Um, those are just the resources that I used and the ones that I liked, the ones that I didn't like. I'll definitely try to make another video where I show you guys the way to do first aid, firecracker, and U world. Um, if I get time, it's just it would be really hard to like kind of put those together. But I think that's such a great combination. Um, I really, really recommend it. Also, as you're studying for step one, I feel like you begin to doubt yourself a lot and you have this like emotional anxiety and all these like thoughts that maybe you can't do it, maybe this, maybe that, and you begin to have self-doubt. Um, I definitely want to touch on that topic as well because I totally get it. 
it. There'll be another video that I'm gonna be putting out very soon. So thank you so much for supporting me. Please definitely do hit the subscribe button if you haven't and do share this video because that will be really helpful. Follow me on my Instagram account, Mercy Medical, and I do have a Snapchat, Mercy Medical, as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.